Heracles? I'm too young to be a father. <laughs> Signorin? I'm here and hoping for the best. My ear hurts. But... Ow. Boss Vidladimir Putin? Oh, okay. Well, that that got that got interesting. Did that just get racist? Yeah. No, no I mean, <laughs> elves are all Russian. <laughs> uh, yeah, all elf be Russian. Let's. Do uh, it. cooking with Olivier. Oh, I'm too fertile to be held accountable for my actions. All right, and bones. All right. Bones. Bones. Okay. bones. Bones is ready. Bones is ready. How have, we, how have we not done that in nine episodes? That's your fault. <laughs> oh, we have. We, oh, we we've definitely done reference. that before. So. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Bye. Wins, uh, hey, welcome everyone to episode forty-nine of It's a Long Story, a D and D custom campaign brought to you by the Trinity Force Network. I am your GM, Lashok, and I'm joined with my uh, group of lovable misfits um, engaging in clusterfuck activities to <clears throat> make me pull my hair out. Um, what well, is that the next movie? <laughs> the sequel to Paranormal Activity. <laughs> um, uh, His brain imploded. <laughs> we, we, we broke our DM. Dude, parents just don't understand. <laughs> we are not doing a found footage D&D campaign. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now now we are. Are. Can we do a D&D &D campaign starring DJ Jazzy Jeff? Okay, maybe we'll do that. If we yes, can sorry. get DJ Jazzy Jeff, I will run a campaign for him specifically. Um, yeah. You do you do anything if Matt. You hear that? You hear that? DJ Jazzy Jeff. Up. Beat at us. What's your Twitter again, Blackhawk? <laughs> What's up? All right. What's so, Twitter? anyways, anyways. Oh, hashtag TFAPS. Okay. Hashtag TFAPS. Tag TFAPS. All right. Anyways, so where we last <laughs> left off, um, the group, they fucking pulled off shenanigans beyond anyone's wildest dreams, uh, especially. Yeah, you were ready. I was not prepared. <laughs> I was not prepared. My butt is still sore. Um, and from the ride. From the ride, <laughs> from the ride over. Yeah, right. I was on. I was so mm -hmm. far on the, you know, seat, the edge of my seat that it ended up becoming a suppository. Um, Ew. I know it wasn't comfortable for me or for it's you for knowing it. <laughs> the look on uh, Cargan's face right now, though, was priceless. <laughs> Anyways, so they pulled it off. They got the orb. They attacked the grayscale tribe. They got back with their lives and even freed some captives in the process. And now they're fucking rusting and exhausted as all hell after force marching themselves back. Um, yep. Uh, now why did that? Well, we're in relative hell safety. Well. That's all that matters. It's all that matters. Relative, yes. Yeah. So, where everyone had just kind of crashed and was getting up and recovering for the next day, you're all still having um, a down to a single level of exhaustion after everything. Um, and this is the day after, correct? Correct. Okay. okay, so we still have an entire day's worth before we can rest again to get the other piece. Yep, yep. Yes. <clears throat> Fun. All right, so you guys rise. Oh, you you know, you feel better. You're not at two levels of exhaustion, just one. Um, <clears throat> and the, the whole town is kind of uh, trying their best not to, like, press in and bug you for every little detail, but they're kind of hovering outside. So, um... Because uh, you guys went out, came back, like, 24 hours later, looked with new people covered in gore and ichor, um, <clears throat> beat up to all hell, and Asheron had a glowing orb on a stick. The uh, Order of Boaz uh, members have gone off to see what help they can do with the restoration. And the Elven Druid said they're going out to contact their order. Yeah, they weren't too happy about us keeping the orb. Oh, yeah. Wah. So. Wah. They couldn't protect it, so we will. 
Yeah, we'll protect it. <laughs> and by protect it, I mean uh, in the morning, I would love to sneak off somewhere and try to spend an hour meditating with this uh, this orb. <sighs> All right. Maybe so, I'll go uh, to my. I don't know if my office is still available as a study, but that'd be a great place. Uh, well, you find the place in the morning. Um, you so you attune to the orb. Yeah. I, I, in case you were listening, uh, last week I had the orb cast suggestion on me, so I'm under its imp or control to attune to it. That was my suggested activity, as well as to attempt to use it to dominate the dragon after I attune. So yes, I'm gonna attune to it. Okay. You attune to it, um, so you get the increased bonuses of plus <coughs> 2 to AC. Um, you can use the suggestion ability once per day. Uh, it restores at every dawn. Um, and it can attempt to dominate copper dragons and makes you immune to copper dragon breath weapons. And if you get hit by one, it absorbs it, and it can release it later at a time if you're choosing. So cool. Do you have the text for that or no? I don't have that written down at the moment, okay. but I can get it to Sounds you. <laughs> One day. One day, yeah. I totally should have done that in the past week, but I didn't. Anyways. Um, so it's only guys, like three or four things to remember. It's not too bad. Anyways. No, it's not bad. <clears throat> As I was saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, as I was saying, uh, so you guys are then have rested and given breakfast, and uh, Saren Lee enters into the church slash tavern slash whatever you really want to call it. Uh, it's like a village inn. It's it's a church. It's a tavern. It's an inn. A it's holy a bar. Bit, it's a holy bar. Yes. It's kind of like a Holiday Inn Express. Yeah, there you go. That's it's a whole. It's a for. Holy not Day the... Inn Express. That's oh what God, it is. no! Not not the eating place, the oh, sleeping no. place. Hotel, <laughs> drunk as fuck inn. <laughs> and um, certainly comes and he sits down to your breakfast. So uh, they've been kept everyone else out uh, for the moment. He's like um. Mm. Morning, all. Uh, don't mean to be disturbing your breakfast, but uh, everyone's a little curious of exactly what the hell happened. And uh, as you requested, uh, them, some of the green scales went and fetched Zax, and he's come down to the square proper. Oh, well, well, that's good news. Uh, well, I guess we could tell you a little bit, uh, the story, if that's what you're looking for. I just want to know what's, what's next, um. Oh, is, that, is, is that, is that know. it? He gestures to the orb on the stick <clears throat> resting by your side. Uh, yes, this is the copper dragon orb. That is it, but there are still 150-ish odd lizards north of here. Yes. There used to be 200, though, so... Well, I, I, I was guessing 150. Yeah. I really don't know. It's just a raw estimate. Actually, sir, do you still have that uh, orb we gave you? The gem? Uh, he nods and pulls the uh, gem out from his pocket. Yeah, I've kept it by my side the whole time. Uh, I look around at the group. Do you think we should keep that on us, no, just in I... case we order another sticky situation? Or do you want to leave that here? I think it's better to leave here. I, just I would case. say leave it here. If we're in a sticky situation, we can somewhat handle ourselves. The people here, not as much. Well, I will say uh, we used the other two gems that we had, Sarent, uh, and they were crucial. Uh, probably the only reason we even managed to escape with our lives uh, from the Grayscales. And we met the Szechuan fellow himself. Uh, unfortunately, he eluded capture and or killing what no he died what are you talking about well he I, well i don't uh, know well, exactly what happened because i i didn't hit him and you didn't hit him and he was in my roots which don't <clears throat> i guess they could have just carried his corpse off i just i i didn't see him when i came back among the lizard folk you say he died before i got there i mean i, 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 
I looked at him. He looked as dead as dead as day. I something happened to him, but it it was strange to say the least. Hmm. One minute he's fighting, the next minute he looks like he withers away, and then the fighting ends and he's gone. Maybe they took him so their new shaman could consume him and become one. Ugh. No, from what I saw, <clears throat> we searched the place at least after the battle, and his body was nowhere to be found. So right, they may have taken his body so that no, their no, no, could they were him. gone. They were all gone, and his body disappeared before any lizard folk came back. Yeah, they Whatever. left their dead. Uh, th yeah. during the the scuffle of them all fleeing is when you all lost sight of him. And you were unconscious at the time anyways, Garrick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I would have gathered. I in in, I in short, he might be dead. He, For all we know, he's gone at the moment. Um, <laughs> we, we killed a, a bunch of lizards that the elementals were arguably the most important thing that happened there other than Asheron mm -hmm. ripping the orb from old two heads, <clears throat> clammy hands. Two heads? Yeah, the Seshwin is a lizard with two heads, one white, one blue. I've never heard of such a thing. That's the times we live in, huh? It's it's way worse than anything you can imagine. Nine feet tall as well. He was not all that impressive. I I have these potions we stole from around there. I think that the nine feet tall may have been a magic effect and not a natural one. By the way, do I know the importance of a white-scaled uh, lizard? You've... L Give me a religion roll. Yeah! Um, the one thing I'm crappy at. The um, one thing. <laughs> well, there, there's multiple things, but that's... I would say plans thing. would be your first one, to you, be fair. Oh, you no. Literally never heard even the slightest thing uh, indicating a white-scale <clears throat> lizard folk. All right. I mean, they are known as the blue scales, right? White... Gray. 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 Gray scale, sorry. Uh, the gray and blue scales, that that's... He wasn't gray, he was white. That's odd. Right? Yeah, pure white. Like, uh, like snow, like albino. Your, didn't your hand turn white after you tried to take that fake orb? That yes, but that was due to the white dragon. I'm sure if I touched a black, my hand would turn black. Oh, okay, well. I don't know, really. I haven't quite figured out the link between dragonborn and lizard, if there is we one. Dragon could always go back and test that theory. Ooh, yes. Uh, anyway, we're not really sure what's next. Um, we kind of barely got out of there as is, but we've thinned their numbers and we've taken away their, I guess, greatest defense against Zax, so... I, with, with the numbers that they had there, if we had all of the lizard folk helping and used all the elementals and we were prepared for it not diminished going into that fight, we on paper, might have had a pretty good shot just beating them outright, but those <laughs> elementals, like I said, were by far our greatest asset, and we're down to one. And not only that, it is the fire one. Not much good that one will come in terms of defense. Burning down buildings. But things. we have the orb, so we also have the dragon. Yes. I, I smirk. <clears throat> well, um... <clears throat> well, that's... Oh, he looks at the, uh, the gem in his hand. Well, it's good to know that this is, uh... So useful. Um, uh, and other news around here, we, uh... We've got the, the Smith's Forge uncovered and back up and running. So, Taff is able to get work done, um... Right now, he's just focusing on things like nails and other things for helping rebuild houses. But <clears throat> you need something for the defense of the town. We'll make that top priority with what supplies we got. I think it might be smart to start setting up defenses. 
Uh, we might have thinned them quite a bit, but I don't think the reality of an attack is going to go away because we hit them pretty hard. I mean, and this is this is also a situation in that <clears throat> they are a threat at this time, and it's not like they've been completely removed at any point in the future. They can be a threat again, and Zax is still injured. It's not like he's going to be flying around scaring anything off anytime soon. That's true. No, uh, he's got a month. But between Bones and I, we can get him back up and sh ship shape. <laughs> oh, just not, not today. Oh. I will stop by later today and see if his wounds will be blessed with Ulathar. Well, uh, did, you guys did uh, call for him. He's, he's outside right now. On, on your way in, you mentioned the one, um, uh, sinkhole? I think it was fish hook. Well, no, no offense, Bones, but some strong of your... jaw. I, I, I apologize. We were pretty tired when we walked in. Does it? Everybody want to go chat with our friend? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we might as well check on him, right? Right. Okay. Um, I do like as we're kind of shuffling out. I kind of like prod Bones, and I'm like, hey, do you think? You could look at this for me. I just kind of like flap my ear a bit. <laughs> it doesn't feel right. Do you want me to remove it? <laughs> no. I'd like to keep it. As a souvenir? On? <laughs> Question mark? Um, oh, I see. You want? Uh, no, no, no. It's cool. I'll go talk to Olivia. Uh, do, wait, do I? Do I notice? Do I notice this happening? <laughs> Oh. God damn it, oh. we need those to hear. Do, do I notice this happening? I mean, you're all get, uh, standing around together, so it's not I'll like... Just, I'll, I'll just walk by and put five points of lay on hands to, to fix up his ear. Ball. I just, like, kind of pat him on the, on, on the side of his face where his ear is, and I'm like, yeah, all right, lad, let's get going. Oh, oh my God. Uh, Man, I can't get any work done around here with all these people <laughs> healing all these injuries. <laughs> Excuse me, but I do not know your body types. I did not know you needed that piece. Olivier, there's always going to be more people to heal. I, you know, Bones, I have to agree. That part does definitely look extra. It just seems worthless, the earlobe, you know. As we head out, I grab my bowl of porridge and just keep eating it as we're walking. God, just be glad Bones hasn't seen a belly button. Lord knows what he'd think of that. Oh, no. <laughs> Is that where you pee? <laughs> Does something oh. happen when you push it? <laughs> yeah, you die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, the, you're no longer under the disadvantage to sound-based perception checks, Sig. Uh, but you do have a really wicked scar um, yeah. on, on your ear, like, and slightly onto the cheek. You know. Mhm. Mm Thanks, boss. I think I. Uh... <laughs> Just learned another valuable lesson. No problem. <laughs> so, all right, you all, I'm just going to uh, let that one slide. You all tiredly step outside and uh, turn off. There is Zax with his, you know, uh, wing and the makeshift <laughs> dragon wing sling uh, and brace. Um, he is just kind of watching people walk around working who are, they're working noticeably slows down. Uh, Olivier, you really, you notice that people are watching you all out of the corner of their eye. They are attempting to, like, you know, their work is slowing down as you guys all walk out um, while they're moving timber. Um, and you're met with, you're met with the, the, the glorious, reassuring sound of, in the distance, a smith's hammer Ting, 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 um, at work. Is it just I, the, um, the people around here and Zach's, or are the green scales here as well? They're, there inter, green they're, they're the green scale, uh, <clears throat> you see that Zax is, next to Zax is the hammer. Um, okay. I would like to stow the orb in my bag again, um, as I did I'll, yesterday, as for the appearance of safety. As you see... The uh, 
as you see Zax, the orb whispers into your head. Uh, uh. It would be safer if we controlled him. No, he he's fine. He's he's a good dragon. Give me a charisma saving throw. I'm so good at these. That is an eight. Okay. Um, really? You gotta turn off that disadvantage. Yeah, we're right. well. No, we're still on a disadvantage for another day. Yeah. Well, for that's for that's for checks. These are ability saves. Yeah, saving so oh. throws and ability checks are two different things. Um, Fair enough. Otherwise, hex would be the most broken first level spell ever. In existence. Right. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hex is still really good if you're a grappler. I mean, Hex is yes. still really fucking good in general. It really <laughs> is. Um, God. As you, Not you that any of us would know. <laughs> it continues to um, berate you, the, the orb. Um, your action's not forced by any way, shape, or form. But, uh, you've not been able to silence its insistence. I, look, I, I agree. I would like to control the dragon, but it's too dangerous right now. It's not worth it to control him then immediately lose control when the, the rest of these people kill me. <laughs> Give me a straight charisma check. You sound like Vedras. I love you so much. Yep. It's, it's the exact same <laughs> bonus. So... Can we hear him as he's saying this? 17. This is all telepathic. In his head. Okay. Okay. Um... We will watch, but if you are wrong, we will act. We? Thank you. That fucking smirk. We have to, makes we me have so to have a... <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, we have to have a trust you in you. I want the same thing you do. Ah! Bones! The hammer is walking up to you. And like, with uh, whatever the lizard folk equivalent of a proud smile is. Um, I Dude, see you. Deep, long I s <laughs> deep long stare. Deep long stare. The tongue forks out in a very specific way. Um... You return with great honor, covered in the finger bones of your enemies. Yes, we slew many grayscales one day, for those in who, honor of your name. For those who don't remember, Bones made a necklace out of the fingers <clears throat> of the slain of several slain grayscales. Um, eyeballs, but eyeballs. Oh my God, you're right. Eyeballs. My apology. <laughs> well, you know what? It's fucking both. That's been said. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, it goes finger bone, eyeball, finger bone, eyeball, finger bone, eyeball, like. <laughs> <laughs> and then in the middle, there are three finger bones, the eyeballs at the end of them. Well, that, that's some high craftsmanship right there. Yeah. <laughs> not only that, but we also acquired the device that would control the dragon. As I point to Ashron. <sighs> and this Seshwin, their leader, what became of him? He's a bitch. <laughs> <sighs> we he... did not see his dead body on the <clears throat> ground, but he appeared dead at least. How about what? What do you know about a two-headed lizard man? Especially one with white scales. There are no of our kind with white scales or two heads. Well, Seshwin we are made in Ulathar's image, perfection in form. So, are you saying this is some sort of deviation of perfection? This is even stranger because Seshwin said something about him being made in Ulathar's image. Then he that was <clears throat> he blasphemes and must be strung in pieces and tossed to the tides. Well, that sounds like you want to help us this time. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> you have tr proven true to your word. We will stay and we will fight. Quest complete. 
<laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Incorrect. The optional enlist aid of green scales mm. okay. uh, on major quest has been fulfilled. You have fulfilled Except the optional side objective. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yep. God. It's like you guys have never <laughs> RPG'd before. Side mission accomplished. <laughs> uh, optional oh, objective. Uh, Hammer, um, is there any way we could have the green scales help fortify the town? We, the gr we do not build. We do not make huts or things from wood. What if instead we enlisted some green scales to partake in some hunting parties to clear out whatever gray scales might still be in the swamps. The green scales, as I said, we will stay. We will fight. We will protect. All right. Lot of protecting. Beautiful. Uh, are you suggesting, boss, that we take the offensive now? <laughs> uh, I'm suggesting we, uh, we clean up the mess that we began. I, agree. I don't. I don't see. I don't see this threat necessarily going away, with just the fact that we return the orb. Like I said earlier, their existence in itself is a threat to these people. Unless we can permanently drive them away, or we can remove Seshwin and scare them into never coming back down here again. They're, I mean, if we ever decide to move on from here, uh, they very well could just sweep in again. There's a few more questions we have as well. Where did the other prisoners come from? Not from this village. Uh, now that we've interrupted their ritual, bones or the hammer, whichever you may know, do you think they'll continue to do it night after night in the same, maybe not the same place, but at least the same way? They were going to make a soup out of uh, captured individuals in Ulathar's honor. Such is the way before war. We give Ulithar plenty of blood. Like, do I know, like, like by doing this, like, does this have, like, any special meaning? Like, any bonuses? Like, any, like, magical, an actual blessing onto us? Or, um, or, or is this all just tribal ritual bullshit? What's the difference? A. It's <laughs> morale, right? <laughs> <laughs> It's just, it's good for the spirit of the people. They think that God's on their side, so they fight harder. Well, I guess I'm checking, like, do I know, like, if, like, do people feel more empowered after, like, the day of the Ulithar? I'm sure they this would be feel a, more this would be con <laughs> This would be a ritual to gain Ulithar's blessing going off to war. Okay. You know of it, but you've never participated in it. By interrupting the ritual, have we stopped the war? Is that easy? There's still 29 <laughs> or 28 days left. I don't know. If you interrupted it, they will seek to gain Ulithar's forgiveness for their weakness if they still mm. intend to attack. Do you have any idea what that forgiveness might entail? More victims. More sacrifice well I don't think they'll come here not while the dragon's an option maybe we can ask the people who we saved where they're from and see if we could enlist their help maybe the Kolik tribe as well they want to kill that I do not know nor would they get their prey they would probably seek any stragglers that they can find rather than attack openly an entire place such as this. Speaking of that, where are our new friends? Particularly that dwarf, he seemed like he knew what was going on. <clears throat> They're working around the village. Yeah, as you look around, you can see um, Mott and his... Uh, Boazian counterparts, uh, his bozos, are helping um, 
they're currently working at trying to get the <clears throat> little potion and scroll shop unburied to find whatever they can in there. Find that guy's leg. <laughs> yes, uh, they're trying. <laughs> they're they're trying to you know excavate. Um, you know, Isel. Oh God, Iselem. Jotorholm, dwar the dwarven owner of glorious bombs. How long have we been in this town? Did you just say bombs? Bombs, B A L M S. Oh. No. The, oh, you know, the oh, one man, who's the one. Your... You know, Iselhelm, the dwarf whose foot you had to take. Yeah, no, no, I know. I just thought you said bombs. I was really excited. Bombs and bombs. We should ask them for, well, we should ask the others where they're from. We know that the Order of Boaz wanders, and... Well, didn't they say last time that they're seeking knowledge is is a big piece of it? Hey, hey, Mott, can you come over here? <clears throat> With a grunt, he, you know, throws down the large, like, piece of rubble and kind of walks over. Yeah, what can I do? Why exactly... What are you and your friends looking for to, to bring you to our little slice of heaven? There's no suspe specific thing I'm looking for. Merely, wherever we go, we seek to chronicle information and record the truth and help those we can. So you, you, just, you just wandered out to this region. You didn't have any particular reason other than just fate to be out here. Oh, I'm still trying to find the other half of that hammer, but... And it pointed... it pointed this way. It points in a general direction. So, <laughs> the, the other part of the hammer could be across the ocean, for all you know. It could be in the ocean, for all he, he knows. He shrugs, and not without a bit of obvious annoyance in his face. I would recommend not taking that hammer to Besmar. Frankly, my main goal was also to get far away from Ossium Hastum. Why, why is that? Old acquaintances. Frying pan fire. I want to ask. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds dangerous. Ah, oh, this is strange. We're running into people out on the road that are here for no reason. We find a strange person in the woods that offers me some guidance. Who knows what's going on anymore? Kind of shrugs. It seems like things are confluencing. That's not the word. Around here in Elmshire, anyway. It's become sort of an apex for all of these events. Hardly Look. coincidence with Andolas's arrival. This is a real nice little pocket of safety and security you got here. The rest of the world ain't like that. I, I'm i very aware of that. That's why we're trying to keep it this way. Noble cause. <sighs> well, what is... Uh, do you have any plans after, uh, after you stay here for a month? <sighs> well... We deal with this and try and find my way back west across the continent. Well, this island, I should say. I can avoid them damn tribes. Well, you have an issue with the tribes. I, we, we know very little about them. Oh. Well, you never know which one you're going to get. Um, but you rarely get past them without a fight one way or another. Um, but I'll just keep searching, chronicling. That's what we recruiting. <laughs> as, as he reaches into his pocket and pulls down the order of we, Boaz. We Campbell. already, we already does, got them. Does the order of Boaz happen to have a, a bastion of power anywhere? Well, we used to. Um, thing is, I don't know if it's still standing. Um. It was 
north of what was once Turnog. Um, not that I've been there in the past couple decades, but... That's not the only place that is a former bastion of power north of Tirnog, at least in the past. Um, well, we appreciate everything you're doing at the moment, and uh, yeah, anything that you can continue to do to, to help out would be, be wonderful. Well, you really saved my bacon back there, so he nods. How many... How many in your group um, did they kill any of you other than the ones that were back at that camp? I didn't see any other survivors, did you? They sacrificed some of the others right before me. Fortunate. I'm glad we got to you. That's lucky. <laughs> so am I. You said it depends on what tribe you run mm -hmm. into in regards to the the tribes of Colic. What tribe, how many tribes are there, do you know? <laughs> Fuck if I know. Look. Colic was a man. He was many things. And a lot of people interpret that in different ways. Colic's so... a god now. What, what do you mean he was a man? <clears throat> Before the catastrophe. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look. I'm not here to give you all a history lesson. But, let's just say, those tribes all worship him. But all of them have a different idea of what he represents. Kolik the Destroyer. Kolik the Champion. Kolik the Lover. Kolik the Gambler. Kolik the <clears throat> Eater and Drinker of Blood. D he's... Kolik the bunny lover. I don't know. They can't agree. So Your gods love each other the bunnies. No, oh, he was more partial to cats. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> <laughs> Almost spit on my water. Nobody's gonna get that! Oh, oh, man. Get that. Maybe we As maybe... the voice of your audience here, I don't understand. Look, I said too much. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could find out which tribe the ones who were captured came from, if they came from a tribe, and try to find them and get their help. Good luck. I'd rather not sit on my ass waiting for them to come here. Yeah, I feel like enlisting militants of a weird god is probably not our best bet, but... It isn't just that, it's... I let's... point towards bones when you say militants of a weird god. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 I mean, it, yep. Asheron has a point in that if the Kolik tribes doesn't know that this place is here, then they have no reason to come south looking for it either. Well, I sense a theme here that's they all wish to fight. Maybe if they want to fight a real opponent, like the Grayscales, this might convince them. What, you want me to just head over to the tribe and say, hey, those guys said your god sucks, and then you just let them go? Yes, that is a fantastic idea. <laughs> or There's a reason say, why you are so much brighter. Or we say that that tribe was the one who kidnapped members who we rescued. Maybe Unless to stop we them run from doing that in the future, <laughs> we don't even know if we have any captured Kolik. That was I, I was about to say. We we run into a tribe that hasn't had anybody captured, and then we just have proverbial griffin egg on our face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've had that on my face. It's not a good look. Maybe we need to find out some more things about the other people we rescued. Uh, you can do that. I am. Too tired we, to deal with strangers today. Didn't we just order like didn't we just rescue people from the Order of Boaz specifically and some elves? No, there were humans there too. There are some humans. Yeah. They were like they were like like the Order of Boaz was like three, two elves, and then like what, eight humans ish that were can like we, affiliated? Can we get those other humans in here so we can have a little chat? Let's interrogate them. Yes, this seems like like we've we've missed we missed a big gaping hole in information. Before before Mott sneaks back off, I just want to kind of pull him to the side and just be like, "So, how do you have so many copies of that Bible 
that you keep handing out. Magic, and he winks. <laughs> I don't know any spells like that, but it seems super handy. Maybe we'll have time to talk about it uh, after the town gets rebuilt. Aye. I'd be more than glad to go over the, some of the trade secrets and benefits of the Order of Boaz with you. Here! <laughs> no, I already have one. I told, I have to, they all look exactly the same, which is also very impressive. I just, you know, I have a book of spells and having a backup of it seems like a good idea. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, disadvantage, right? Yeah, because you're tired as fuck. Eleven. Uh, he seems to be pulling these out like he's always got his shield on his back, and he seems to be like pulling these out from his shield. <laughs> hmm. Magic printing shield. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Precursor to the printing press. Right. Inspired it actually. Right. You guys can talk to your, <laughs> talk to your humans. Um. Yeah, I mean, you find that they're inside eating food. Um, they haven't said much of a word to anyone or anything, but they've gladly devoured everything that's been put in front of them. Oh, so we're right. still inside. Do we want to talk to Zax first? Is, is, yep, how, I'm in there. Look, I'm going to go talk to these idiots. You go do whatever it is you want to do. All right. I'll go talk to the ones we rescued. It might be good to see if a face who's familiar with the village in there. So as you go, you go back in, and there's the group of them. Um, they look famished. Like, they look like they've been captured for a while. Um, uh, While well, we've been sleeping, they've been eating the whole time? <laughs> yes. Essentially, they have been on a nonstop, all-you-can-eat gorge buffet. And this is um, after I fed all of them with good berries. Uh, Brewer Hawthorne is like, you know, tending to them, uh, but they still, they're not, he looks, he shrugs, goes, they haven't said a word to me the whole time. Hey, you want to talk to Moonier or am I? Because uh, you might uh, be better with words. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's both go. All right, suit yourself. You have great bedside manner. I'm sure it translates here. Oh, yeah, no. Totally translates to the table. Hey, nerds, the ones that are eating everything. Who are you with? Uh, give me a persuasion roll. At disadvantage. <coughs> All right. <laughs> oh, wow, okay, 15. <laughs> they, they kind of, like... Look up at you with like shaking hands. Um, looking closer at them, uh, their clothes is hanging very loosely uh, over their bodies. Um, they look downright emaciated. Um, and completely like hollow, look, hollow, empty look in their eyes. Would would I know that being like famished and then eating a bunch is actually pretty dangerous? Yeah, I mean, I would know that. Yeah, Olivier you know, definitely doctor. would. Trained in medicine. Yeah. Um. All right, uh, you folk, you lot, you guys are gonna now want to eat a lot more than you want to eat. I, I, look, anyway, how long have you guys been captured? Because you all look worse than. Woody over here. They all kind of like look <clears throat> back and forth uneasily. And uh, one of them kind of happens says, I, I, I rightly don't know. I kind of lost count, but. It was at least through one winter. Oh. They've had you that whole time? They, they, our whole village were all that's left. Where was your village? It was kind of, I 
Right, so I don't even know where we are. You're in Elmshire. Elmshire. You've never heard of your town, idiot. Um, we're from a, a, a small village of, by a woods, um, a place called Englewood. Then one day they all descended upon us and took everyone and over the months we watched them one at a time sacrifice us. You familiar with that town? Inglewood? Am I familiar with that town? Or Give me a history roll. At the disadvantage. That's a 15. Wow, we're doing well. Uh, you know, you you had, you'd heard that name like was a, a, a neighboring town in like the before time. <laughs> okay. Um, the same way that you know of Oscar, like old maps, you know, uh, that there was one, a small, similar sized village, not horribly far away, by the name of Englewood. One winter. What time of year is it? Like how is spring it, would it be? It's it's like mid to late spring. So they've been captured for over a year at this point, or almost a year. <clears throat> anywhere no. from anywhere from like a year to six to like four months. That's all. That's all I need to know. Is it just it's longer than like a couple months, right? No. Yeah. I mean, usually spring follows winter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, I don't mean to burst your bubble there. No, 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 you're right. You said, but you said, he said through one winter. And so I don't know when they're captured before then. That's what Probably I Probably the fall. They took all of our elderly and children first, leaving us adults for last. The ones that wouldn't quit crying, they cut their tongues. Yeah. Can any of you understand the what the lizard folk say? Or no. is it just babbles? Just guttural growls and snarls and horrible horrible things. I'm sorry to press you. We'll leave you two in peace for a bit. Um just have a couple more questions. Uh, did you see anyone speak to the big two-headed one? I mean, uh, he would have those big midnight bonfires where they would sacrifice someone and he would yell up to the moon or the absence of the moon or to the shadows themselves, I don't know. We were always behind the crowd. We couldn't see very well. Nor could we understand what it was saying. Thank you. Um, I can't say that you'll be safe here. Um, the, those lizard folk are bound to attack us within... Well, the next full moon is what they said last time before we interrupted their last ritual. <laughs> I can't speak for others, but give me time to rest, and I'd rather die on my feet than in their cages again. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go talk to Hawthorne over there. I'm going to switch up your diet a little bit, because right now you're a little too emaciated to be eating large meals. You're going to need to start building up bone mass and muscle and all that other jazz, so just let him feed you what he needs to. Don't try and eat too much. You don't want to starve on a full stomach. Okay. What's your name? Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. I'm going to head over to Hawthorne and explain the situation to him. And if it costs any money, I'll happily pay for it. You got a crap ton of money after. Uh... <laughs> That's not a, not, not a matter of money. Uh, 
Master Olivier, it's more of the limited amount of food supply we're going to continue to have left. I mean, it really it was gr very helpful the larders mm. that you brought back from <coughs> deep within that temple, but we're we'll keep feeding them. I mean, <laughs> we just got to make it past these this first month, and then we'll go from there. Am I right? Right, the whole farm's getting upturned. A oh, blessing and a toast upon you as he hands you a mug and uh, toasts it with you. Full chairs and profits to you. <laughs> Folding chairs and profits? Full chairs and profits to uh, you. Oh, hey, that was good. I like that. Yeah, it was good. Folding chairs and props. <laughs> yep. I was like, what? I wish. <laughs> that also would have been good. That's, that, that's when Hawthorne realized that the next thing to do was to build a patio. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> idea for like folding chairs and oh, it's a good idea. You can make a lot of money off that. Oh, I have to make every single one of those by hand. <laughs> 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 um, Those anywho, will break easier. Um, so outside, uh, the rest of you are left there with the hammer, Serent, and Zax, uh, while those two went in to talk. Um, Asheron, I'm... Sig, Boss, Bones, doing anything? Or so, Zax. We got the order, but it doesn't look like. Uh... Anybody will be a threat to you as long as they're not looking to uh, malevolently control you or anything. Well, that's good. That thing just feels weird. Like it's looking at me. It, it's made to protect the holder from you. It shouldn't do you any harm. Yes, because we've not known magic to do harm in the past. <laughs> <laughs> I've always found magic to be quite useful, honestly. So did Seshwin. We should be careful. I mean, I'm just telling you what it does. Do we want to put it away somewhere? I mean, it's in my bag. I don't want to risk it falling into anyone else's hands. Where do you suggest leaving it, boss? Well, I mean, considering it was the druids to begin with, if they send a group of people who can defend it, it might be a good idea to give it back. Wasn't it with a group of people that could defend it before? I mean, they did a pretty good job until a giant evil death druid walked in to uh, fuck everything up, right? Do or just fair. one earth elemental. This, if we do keep this with us, it would put a target on us, and they might try to acquire it back. Uh, this would sound strange, but if we're going to leave it anywhere, honestly, I'd say we leave it with Zax. I know it freaks you out, but who better to guard it than you? I, I definitely would make certain that no one touched it. Just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> that alone I'm not there to argue that I mean for now we can guard it ourselves and if we decide when you want to change course of action then we'll do so I will trust on you to make this option I am not much of a thinker I'm more of a <clears throat> believer But then I saw her face. Da, 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 da. I'm a believer. God damn it! I'm so disappointed Sorry, in everyone. Sorry, change of pace. <laughs> oh, so uh, while, while you were gone, I recommended we just leave it with Zax if we're gonna leave it anywhere. But also that I want to keep it. All right. I mean, well, Zax, would you would you want to take the orb or do you want do you want it to go far away? I don't know. I mean, the the thing has more. Uh, more power over you than it has any power over anyone else here, so I, I guess it's up to you. Uh, if you give it to me, I know a safe place I could keep it. 
Why? I mean, what, what better place to put it than with a dragon? That's what I was saying, yeah. I think Why that... don't we take the orb and throw it in the ocean? Uh, eh? Well, because <laughs> there are magics that like, could locate it now, like this powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Not to dump on your plans, I think something that strong would call out to someone to find it. Even many miles, hmm. or many yards. Sure. Sure. Very well. Well, Zax, let's be honest. You're the oldest one in this town. What do you feel like we should do? I, oh, I mean, I mean, I'm not the oldest anymore. He gestures over to the dwarf Mott. Um, he's older than me. Semantics. But he also doesn't look like he has any great town saving ideas. Uh, those pamphlets aren't going to help anybody. <laughs> I mean, have you read them? It sounds really cool. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, he seems something. All right. Oh, no, he's converted the dragon to the Order of Boaz. Step one <laughs> Acquire dragon. <laughs> Mm. Step two, question mark. Step three, profit. <laughs> so, Ashron, how do you feel that within uh, a day of meeting him, this uh, dwarf has made more uh, progress on converting a dragon than you have in a couple months? <laughs> I feel like I have a remedy for that. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, the retorts are fire this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, spicy. Uh, well, oh um, but um, if you're asking my opinion... Um, if they can't control me, I'm prepared to fight them. If you can... Sweet. If, and if my wing gets better before then, then it'll be even easier. More. Um, you know, I was kind of banking on if, uh, if we got the orb out of there and we managed to get captured and some of us uh, even die, that Zax would be able to reap vengeance eventually. Uh, by flying around and eating that two-headed bastard, but maybe we'll get the chance for him to do that while we're all standing here. Two-headed, huh? That's got to be a sight. <clears throat> uh, and both heads are different colors. Steven Stranger. Huh. Uh, well, uh... But yeah, if you give me the orb, I can put it someplace that I... I can almost guarantee no one will be able to get to. That sounds... that sounds great. I think... <laughs> especially... given what we're up against, I think that might be for the best. It just... That sounds <sighs> like a reasonable course of action. I will do it tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so, so what are we waiting for? Uh, would it be better if I put it there for you, Zach, so I don't have to whip it out around you? Just keep oh my it God. Bag. Oh, my God. Give me a persuasion roll. My oh precious. <laughs> and you need another one. That's a oh. nat one. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I, n no offense, Ashra, my friend, but uh, nobody else knows this this hiding spot. Can you even go there with your wing? Oh, yes. Uh, <clears throat> Do not worry. This, I can't imagine anyone being able to find it there. <laughs> the look on not, Jano's face right now is so priceless. Not even via magical means. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I guess I have no reason not to give it to you. I'm gonna pull the orb out. Oh uh, god! I need and try to try really All right, hard to me, hand it over. Give me a charisma check. Uh, how about a 12? God. Charisma check, not save. Uh, they're the same bonus. Do you want me to roll the other one? Go for oh, it. Oh, he's, I think, ooh. 
That's a six instead. <laughs> um, you guys see Astron pull orb, and he's like struggling to reach up and hand it, and then he starts almost like pull it back towards himself. Oh, you yeah. Are sense. we? I, am I outside yet? Did the witness? Yeah. This at this no? point, you and Garrick are walking out. The the conversation wasn't okay. That fair. Long. Here, like Vax, you can. I'm just afraid of what it might interact with the copper dragon. That part I haven't studied yet. <laughs> so, Olivier, where'd you learn about uh, all this doctor stuff? You don't seem that old. Uh, look, I've been around, okay? Let's not get into it. <laughs> uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to use the ability to dominate the dragon. Okay! There you go. That's what I was waiting for. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> failed at too many saves and... <laughs> this will resolve this quickly. <laughs> You've been around, Olivier. Where Where are you from? So, uh, as you guys walk out, <laughs> you see this odd moment where everyone's just, no one is looking alarmed just yet. But Asheron is, like, holding his hand, trying to hand the orb to Zax's outstretched hand. But he looks like he's really struggling with it. Um, and everything for just a brief moment. Hold on a second, I'm pulling up Zax's saving throw. Bonus, that's all. Uh, I hope it's 12. <laughs> Maybe he's got that legendary resistance and can just succeed when he wants to. Yeah, I'm sure the dragon or the orbs made... The dragon orb. I'm sure the dragon orb is not at all prepared for such a thing. Um, hey, I can right. dream, can't I? <laughs> That'll be the worst dragon orb in all of existence. <laughs> We're going to need three of these bad boys. Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> you reach out there, and you... And suddenly you guys see um, Zax's claw go from outstretched to down onto the ground, and he lowers his head, like, bowing before Asheron. Um, Asheron, what the hell is Asheron, going on? Asheron, you have oh. dominated Zax. Um, six swings on Asheron. <laughs> uh, I, don't, is it, I mean, you don't know. I'm 100% dominant, but... swing. Is there any verbal or somatic components, or is it just like a, a it, will thing? It's a will thing. Um, and and, yeah, what, Zach, and as, as Zax yeah. says, is he, is, um, Zax, Zax kneels down, goes like that, and he goes, I will follow your will. Let's just go to this hiding place together and we can set it up there. Yes. I can tell something's weird, right? We all can tell something's weird. Yeah, definitely. We all hear. I mean, <laughs> I just want to make sure. Just looking over from walking away, can we see that something weird's happening too? Everyone sees something You guys just I mean, walk out talking casually and, and suddenly the tension could cut, like, you could ten Cut the tension I put the scepter right. back in my bag. I command, before he does that, I wanted to ca cast command and, like, make him drop it. Okay. It's a really um, good time for guidance. I mean, I can't fucking, I don't have time for that. Oh, you I can't know. guidance command. He just makes an opposed uh, wisdom uh, saving, saving throw. Yeah. Jesus. Watch, this is when he gets the good rolls. Up. That's a 17. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you roll. Uh, you don't roll twice. Yeah, that'd be no, I don't roll twice anymore. It's it's uh, a safe, or would it be just it's charisma for me? Uh, at that uh, upon casting, that uh, Zax goes and positions himself, bet like in front of Asheron, protectively. I mean, whoa, I can whoa, still whoa. cast hey. through it. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, but oh, after so you what are you doing? It, is it a charisma roll, or is it a charisma like a save roll? It's a wisdom saving throw that I made. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah. sorry, a wiz it's it's my charisma yeah. versus wisdom. No, it's, it's your it's your spell save DC. Yeah, your spell save. Oh 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 oh. And I know and I know a seven yeah, and I know not. a seventeen beats. Yeah, him. yeah, it's fourteen. Uh, yeah. Whoa, boss, what are you? Calm you down put, there. You need to put the orb down. I put it in my bag. I just no put the orb down. Um, it's I'm not gonna let it fall into anyone else's hands. Zach and I are gonna go put it away now. No, he completes putting that into his bag. Correct. Yeah. I would like to stealth. <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> oh. Jesus Christ. All right. That's a nine. That's, That's a, a nine. nine. 
That is a nine. Uh, Asheron opposed the perception check. <laughs> That's a five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Zax, I think we should get out of here right now. <gasps> we'll come back once we've hid this. No, really, Asheron. Ash. We need to put the orb down. I, can I get on Zax's back? Oh, he can't oh, yeah, fly, yeah, I guess. No, but he can carry you still. Yeah. I try to, um, I try to mount Zax. As he does, what do I need to do to remove the orb from his bag? It's slide, slide a hand. hand. Slide a hand? Okay. That's a 10. Asheron, opposed perception? It's perception in my bag. That's an oh 11. My God. Oh, oh my. you spot it just in time and uh, pull the bag, uh, like, are able, if you wish to, to pull the bag to your chest, preventing him from... His hand was, like, reaching into I the will, bag. I will, and I, like, put my hand out offensively. I'm like, Sig, stay away from this. It's dangerous. You don't want to fight me, lizard. I will destroy you. <laughs> Zax, um, let's go now. Um, Olivia, Friends! And I, I cast Blur. <laughs> We're going to put the orb away. Zach says, it's okay. And begins walking to his place. What the um, fuck I guess... do we do here? Uh, I cast command as well because I have yet to do anything. <laughs> oh no! Let, 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 no no wait wait no! It's a good thing. Let them go. Let no, them go. it's not a good thing. No, and I it... want to have him drop the satchel, whatever his bag is. Oh, wisdom saving throw, Asheron. Eighteen. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, fuck. Let them let them go. It's okay. It's okay. As they're leaving, I want to cast Hunter's Mark on Asheron. Okay, you Hunter's Mark him. Mm hmm. <clears throat> um, so to add to, I mean, these... to add to this moment, um, as Ashron and t uh, <clears throat> and Zax are marching back off to wherever Zax's hiding place is. Um, God, fucking exhaustion blows. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> your your attention's briefly kind of like delayed as you notice a bird fly, uh, Olivier. You specifically, with your insane passive perception now. There's a, a, a messenger bird fly over and down into, like, down the church's, like, bell tower. Uh, like a I think we just got a messenger an, hawk. Just got an instant message from a carrier pigeon. Instant message? What's... <laughs> I don't know. Bird just went in the tower. I think it's got a message. Let's check that out, and then in 15 minutes, let's follow Asheron and Zach. I'm Wait, sure. we can, we can follow... God, I'm why why aren't we following there. Asheron right now? I mean, can we see Hunter's Mark? Because if not, I'm following Asheron. It's not a visible <laughs> thing. It's something yeah. that... It's a magical link between Garrick and his target. Yeah, because I don't take the subtle hint, so I'm just going to keep on following Asheron. <laughs> How far back? I... Not at all. I'm not. I'm making it obvious. Like, oh, you're just like right you're, ju you're just like walking with them. <laughs> yeah, why not? He's the Can chosen one, after all. Grab the message and then follow. I assume Zax is slightly faster than everyone else. I don't know. On foot, um, forty feet. Okay, so a little bit faster. That's as fast as me. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Oh, yeah, before I head to the tower, I look, I look at Dig and I just kind of do like the eyes to eyes thing. Follow him. Um, <clears throat> the eye, oh, the eyes thing. Okay. Um, yeah. So you're going in. Yeah. Or, is anyone going into the church to check this out? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go grab. I'll go. The, the I'm gonna go. In, yeah, I'm okay. gonna go in the church. All right. Yep. As you go in, you um, see that there is indeed a bird is kind of sitting there and. Brewer Hawthorne is reading an unfurled scroll of a broken seal. What's it say? <laughs> it's good news. Um, I I wrote to uh, more of my order in Ossium Hastum after the uh, the disaster, and uh, Ossium Hastum is willing to 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 send um, aid and troops as. Um, to Elmshire if we're willing to submit to their rule. And we're there for we're going to clip the recording. 
Uh, oh my god. There's so many threads. So, uh, everyone out there, let's go ahead and we're going to stop the recording here. And we're going to take a quick break here on stream for everyone to refill their drinks and whatnot. Um, so, we're going to stop. We're on episode 49. I have a. Sp I am excited because I have something special planned. I think I stopped at exactly 50. one hour and ten minutes. We did it. Uh, just about the same here, yeah. 10947. I fucking hate saves first exhaustion. Y'all do shit when you're tired. I was happy eating and sleeping. Well, I mean, <clears throat> what, it, you're not. You still have exhaustion, too. It's I, like a whole 24 I, hour thing. I, again, also I apologize to everyone. I, but I, was, I was pretty much dominated by the orb, so. <laughs> No, no, that's a you good fuck with Yeah, no, orb. it's fine. <laughs> we also did whatever we could to try to stop you. Yeah, I, I was like, yeah. your only good roles were trying to like... Magic missileing the fuck out of Sig, but I figured Blur got me out of there. <laughs> and Magic missileing you does not get me out of there. Also, like, the bad rules you had were against the orb. The good rules were against us, of course. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, I'm, like, canonically, that does. makes sense. The orb isn't exhausted. You are. <laughs> All right, put music and fan art okay, on great. while we take our little Sweet. break. I'm going to go grab food. Oh, boy. Buy a through. <sighs> I'm going to go get a drink. Oh, now it puts the spooky booze music on. God damn it. Oh wait, I got my beer. Stressful. Game is hard. Bullshit. Bullshit. Yup. I wonder how long Dominate lasts. Well, I mean, he can keep recasting it, so. Yeah, but that's also assuming that the dragon doesn't save. Unless there's some bullshit where every time he gets dominated, it makes it easier to dominate him the next time. Yeah. Knowing the shock. <laughs> yeah. That's what I said that for. <laughs> the shock, I forgot before the session to add my new... Oh, does he not have headphones in yet? That won't help. No idea. The shock before the session. Uh-huh. I forgot to add my new spells. Okay. So I just added them Expeditious Retreat and Magic Weapon. I remember you telling me those were going to be the spells we were going to add. Yeah, I just uh, added them. They were both prepared anyway. I didn't use them yet, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Hmm, I'm going to need to find better break uh, music. This is good is for a dramatic spark? moment. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You should just get that, like, 
tavern bar room sounds. Right there. Yeah, like that. There we go. <sighs> oh, it's got lyrics. Belly's too. full of pie. <laughs> it's halfling. Uh, it's here, ye all, you rascals. Halfling camp music. <laughs> I'm amused. I like how you have our old character sheets for the yeah. waiting screen. I have them both. The roommate is describing Plus, uh, some uh, MMO to me where somebody bought a, a, a digital island for 350,000 real people dollars. Not uh, Eve? It's, yeah, it's not Eve. Second Life? Archage? Not Second Life. Not Archage. It's something like Entropy or some shit. Huh. Well, then they were stupid, and they did with one of the not popular ones. <laughs> expendable income. A lot That's of like expendable income. income. Yeah. That's like when people give, like, a shit ton of money to Twitch streamers. They do it because they like that person, and to them, that's throwaway money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was watching a guy who got donated $300 donations in a row by a guy just correcting him on which country he was from. He's like, here it is. Oh, are you from one of those rich Saudi Arabian countries? No, I'm from the Dubai. Oh, what country is that in? Another $100 donation. UAE. I was like, what? <laughs> Damn. Uh, and there's my paycheck. <laughs> uh, I, that's my favorite art is the Nathaniel turned into an ape with Cargan on his shoulder. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, there's and the a rope. cheerleader in the background. Yes. <laughs> I didn't have Twitch chat open. I hope they don't mind me dominating Zach. Uh, someone said, you know, Bad Asheron, but that's about it. Bad Asheron. Oh, like Bad Asheron? No, no, like Bad Asheron. I'm going to choose the other <laughs> interpretation. You would. Yeah. I have one command I want to give to Zax when we get back in, though. Uh, it shouldn't take too much time. He's about to, I'll say, I, I... I basically just want to tell him to tell me when to tell Bones to stop following us. And have him bone stand sentry instead when we get close to the hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking no. hate <laughs> you piece of shit. You Brinky. motherfucker. Brinky in the brain, 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 brain. brain, brain. brain, brain. <laughs> you motherfucker. I'm actually going to try to put the orb where Zach is telling me to hide it. I just wanted yeah, to know where you know, it was. Man, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> session. I know this, better. This I know is... what you're doing, you fucker. This we is... all dominated. They I'm under dealt with magic... Venris once. Come on, man. I'm under a magic spell. I can't help it. But in reality, he's loving it. Yeah, th I mean, it. this is what you want to do anyway. Just because so like... the spell 100% aligns with my character motivation doesn't mean that <laughs> <I'm> purposely <laughs> failing Christmas saves. Now he has justification. Yeah. Uh... Can you imagine if Venus had gotten this free pass ever? <laughs> I would have quit. I would have quit. Been, been that's, close. that's what would have happened. <laughs> All right. I will be ready when everyone else is ready. I will forever be gun shy to certain things in D and D because of Venus. Sentient, <laughs> sentient items. Sentient items is like my top item right now that I just don't like anymore. Yo, I thought it was up. cool at first, but it seems like every sentient item wants you to do the exact thing that you don't want to do. The only sentient item I fucking can't stand is a goddamn Lil John sword. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I missed that. Though. Oh, God, that was some good times, though. I'm, I'm still could playing. Be, uh... Oh, could you make a set of those based off of all the rappers? No, because we, couldn't use them, because we couldn't use that in our podcast. <laughs> I mean, you could just make, you could just do the voices and rap the shock. Come on, come I, on. 
You just bend I over can. to the front, touch your toes. I thought we could still do it. that ass up and down and get low. 15 seconds. Shh. As long as it's used in parody, we can use it. Don't tell him that. <laughs> Thanks, Law. I just want to reject his idea. No, oh, it's a great idea. He's so used to me rejecting Lean his in. ideas by now, he doesn't even question why I'm objecting them. I also I just mean, want to point out that... All you have to do is snap your fingers. <laughs> parody or fair use is a defense, not a right. So you can only use it if you actually get sued to possibly defend yourself in court. It doesn't give you permission to do so. No, Still not longer than 15 seconds. That That's what she says. It's literally apologizing instead of asking permission, which pretty well sounds in line with our party's <laughs> alignment. All right. Our party's very existence. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, we ready for part two? Are we ready for part two? Yes. Give me like hey. eight seconds to keep finish chewing. Okay. Yep. I still blame that goddamn circlet that you gave me when I stole it. I was, I, I was legit it. trying to do good when me and you were RPing in Slack, but no, oh, that like thing that me. thing. All right. That thing. So hard. Hey, what? man. Magic. I was trying to play it's good boy Venerous at that time. <laughs> I miss alternate you know uh, parallel universe versions of you. <laughs> <laughs> Just drawing random shit and not being very helpful. <laughs> 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 Mm -hmm. I'm good whenever now. Sorry. All right. We all good. We all we all good. We Gucci. Yes. Gucci. All right. Gucci. Kill the music. Hungry. Uh, <laughs> all right. Let's <laughs> count down. Three, two, one. Recording. And Lashok is recording. How about you, Sig? Sig's upset, but recording. Okay. Um, Garricles? I am great. Awesome. Asheroni? Me and Zax are pleased as kittens. Ali Ali Oliver? Yay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to sedate a goddamn dragonborn, aren't I? <laughs> and a goddamn dragon. Absolutely. And, um... <sighs> Cancel on NBC Bones? This might be technically what I wanted overall, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, then... Uh, Alright, everyone, welcome back to part two of It's a Long Story, a D&D custom game uh, brought to you by the Trinity Force Network. Um, well, where we... Oh, hey, I should change the uh, stream. Bah! There we go. Alright, so we just left off. Um, shenanigans are afoot. Uh, the orb has compelled Asheron to dominate Zax, which worked. Um, I didn't see that part coming. Uh... And he's off to go find the place to hide the orb with Bones and uh, following and the rest of the group having just found a letter that has arrived from Ossium Halfstum, according to Brewer Hawthorne, saying that they will send troops and aid if Elmshire will submit to Ossium Halfstum. So, you know what? I am going to put on... The thematic background music. Uh, Bru oh, Hawthorne, can we table this conversation for after we go deal with a slightly more pressing matter? I, I, I'm, I'm going to take this to Serent right away. Make sure he doesn't tell the hammer yet. Uh, we don't know how Asim Hassan would deal with the tribal lizard folk outside. Right. Um, he nods and <clears throat> begins to go out to find Serently. After the dragon? I'm not going to to say that. Boss and then do what? I can barely see straight. You expect me to go deal with a dragon and a dumbass dragonborn? Yes. I expect you to come along with us and try and help. We need yeah. to know what, what Asheron is thinking. And why Zax is listening to him. Is it the orb or is it something else? I I don't want to say fucking duh, but fucking duh. <laughs> As we're walking, by the way, I'm casting an enhanced ability on myself. Which ability? Giving myself advantage on wisdom stuff. 
Okay. I just would like to give him the benefit of the doubt in this. All right. Well, let's knock out the idiot dragonborn and deal with the staff. Boss, do you know anything else about these orbs? Uh, I mean, you know about as much as I do and that they... There's one for every dragon type and they are meant to control the color that they're associated with. Let's talk as we walk. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to track them as they... If they Agreed. Can. All right, all right, all right. All right, so you guys begin following along. Uh, Asheron, you are riding on the back of Zax. You're riding a, a noble dragon <laughs> under your command. <clears throat> Zax, uh, let me know when we get close enough for comfort, and I'll have Bone Stand Sentry instead of following us, so that the secret stays well guarded. Why do you want me to stand guarded? The others were acting strange. I think Sig wants the orb. You saw him reach for it. I... Everything happened so fast. It's... You... You seem like you are not yourself, Chosen One. As if... You are not Chosen. <laughs> the, the no longer Chosen One! The, the chosen, un chosen One. The bones, you wound me. <laughs> I'm just trying to put this orb in a place that is safe. That it won't hurt Zax. All that I know for sure is that white orb tried to tell me false lies. And I believe it is telling you the same as I... So truth? <laughs> as I lick my, his neck as I cast Lesser Restoration. I don't know if it works, but I want to try. <laughs> I don't know. Let me take a look here at Lesser Restoration. That's I mean, it removes a condition. Does that mean it removes my exhaustion? <laughs> no, that's greater restoration. I checked. Aww. The condition can Before be blinded, end. deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned. Well, you are neither blinded, deafened, paralyzed, or poisoned, so... Um... Poison of the mind! Come on! It's, it's, it's a <laughs> target. Friend it's a charm. of lizard. <laughs> I like that target. <laughs> target for my cock. I forgot the all one those. I licked. All of Phil's spells are like that. Um. I believe it. Well, thank you for that. I guess. Um. Then I think he's fine then. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ulafar's looking uh, did, did not do anything, so he must be okay. Very well, I... You, you and I are, are among the wisest in the group. We understand things the others do not. They are not of scales. Ooh, you just hit the right buttons there. <laughs> oh. You pushed his belly button, man. <laughs> Very well, Asheron. I will assist you for this matter. Once we have the orbs safe, we can talk to them and we'll sort this whole thing out. Yeah, as I. That's my, that's my way of ending a conversation. <laughs> okay, sounds good. So, and you guys continue away. on, and uh, <laughs> Zax uh, walks you up to the large kind of manor tower of uh, that was once belonged to Garrett Lee. Um, and that he is normally purchased off of. He basically takes you to his home. Um, and he looks up at you and says, Boss should, Bones should wait outside. That's what he just said. Well, oh, this is, this is the spot though. Oh, yes. we get out. true. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> we shall go inside and we shall hide the scepter. We all come back. He, uh, you know, opens the double doors, which given a couple more decades, he may not be small enough to fit inside here anymore. Um, but right now he's, you know, well, still only so big. Uh, leads you in and shuts the door. Um, goes just across the, you've never been inside here before, really. Um, it's still very well kept. Um, you see a 
floating feather duster going around and keeping everything clean. Um, a perpetual unseen servant tending to the cleanliness of the home. Ooh. And he walks back, you know, past the room, and there in the back is like this large kind of armoire. And he takes a claw and opens it, and sitting there is a uh, gleaming suit of armor. Um, just sitting right there, kind of on display. And what is this armor, Zex? Tell me. This armor is a friend. Um, in a way, this armor is where I'm from. <clears throat> oh my god. Can you give me a little more detail on that? <laughs> uh... I don't really know how to explain that, honestly. Um, uh, but, no. uh, but if you give the orb to the armor, it will be protected. God damn it. Is the armor alive? <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 All right, stand back for a second. And I'm going to start casting an Identify Ritual on the armor. Okay. Um, <laughs> I need you to make a spellcasting uh, ability check, like a, with your spellcasting ability. Just an intelligence check? Yes. 17. Nice. It's um, an ability check, though, right? Yes, you are at this. It's not a skill check, though, You're right? You're at disadvantage. I am at this. It's, a, a it's an ability check. Fifteen. Damn, son! Damn. And literally, you attempt to probe with the magic, and you hear in your head, I will not tell you what I am. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I, like, can I try to talk Maybe back? Up. Talk to Damn. the armor, because the armor... Uh, hello, I am Asheron Eldingar. <laughs> Who are you? What have you done with Zax? He is my friend. Oh, Ooh, shit. I've come to bring you uh, something that should be protected to keep Zach safe, and I need to know if I can trust you. <laughs> oh, the stakes just got so raised. <laughs> <laughs> come on, tear him to all me. Um, do, do, do. At this moment, like, actually, the, like, uh, up around the wall, like, the decorative suits of armor all, like, step oh, forward. Oh, this is a terracotta army. <laughs> and, uh, if Zax wants you to give that to me, then you should. <clears throat> Zax wants, <laughs> Zax wants to make sure that I trust you first. <laughs> Zax, tell the suit give, of armor to tell me, me what he is. <laughs> No, Zax does want oh, to. Yeah. Oh, God. But the fucking suit knows that you're up to no good. <laughs> it's okay. Asheron is a friend. <laughs> Very well. I'm an experimental, hypothetical, other pocket realm of existence given sentience and attempt to learn how to grow life to fix problems with food shortages across multiple planes of existences and in such developed my own sense of being and ex realm of existence and have chosen to inhabit the suit of armor so I could be carried around to see the world around me. Hey, beer, you look tasty. But you hang out in an armoire instead of seeing <laughs> the world around you. The suits of armor take a step closer to you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fuck. I. Uh, so. How do other magical artifacts interact with you? <coughs> I can safely store it within me. Do you promise me? I do. More importantly, I promise Zax. I think then you and I want the same things. I believe Zax here will one day be a great ruler. 
Yeah, okay. He has to make it that far. Look, I can tell that thing is allowing you to control him. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I missed a you fucking plane. I, I have control of him right now. I want to give you the orb. Then give me it the has orb. control over me, though. If you understand my dilemma. So I'm going to attempt to give it to you. But just remember we had this conversation. <laughs> Zex might need a talking down after this effect wears off. Oh my God. Just put it down next to me. Don't I think about it. Don't think about giving it to me. Just think about setting it down. I pull the this orb out. This pocket plane's the smartest character. And I we've set ever it run. down next yes, to the armor. Is. I just kind of drop it. There, there's, mm -hmm. there's, um, like a small flash of light, and it disappears. And suddenly, you and Zax both come to your own mental faculties. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty neat hiding place, Zax. You weren't kidding. Yeah, I was hatched in there. In the other, in the armor or in the other plane? Same thing. Oh, God. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's entirely true, but that's... All right, I buy that. Wow, well... Uh, I apologize for having to So at this that. point, at this point, the rest of you are catching up to the outside of Garrett Lee's old tower. Um, and Bones is standing outside. <laughs> I'm licking how a salt rock. How, <laughs> how long has it been since I cast Hunter's Mark? Um, um, at this point, uh, like an hour. Okay, spells went off. Okay. He's in the fucking tower. I'm bones just walking. Right at you. I'm just, just kicking the door down. I'm walking past Bones and I'm fucking moving the tower. I, I mean, I guess I block it. I don't know what to do <laughs> <Yeah>. here. <laughs> It, no, it, fair, okay, he told you to stand guard, but he didn't actually tell you to stop anyone. Like, <laughs> my brain's hurting. I are, take are, a point of psychic damage. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bones, just give us a second. We gotta fix Ashron's stupid orbs, control it, and blah 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 blah. Whatever. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I, I I lo Zach and I locked the door since we were trying to talk to like the secret suit of armor. No, no. I didn't tell Zach to. No. <laughs> Uh, the door opens and Boss walks in, and uh, you see I mean, Asheron. Yeah, uh, you you see Asheron. I shut the doors there. of the armoire very quickly. Just slam <laughs> them shut. Well, it uh, walked out of the armoire. No, no, the ones off the wall walked around. I don't there think are, the, there were four decorative suits of plate mail, like holding decorative like weapons that were plate against mail. the walls. Um, uh, and as you shut it, they you watch as. Asheron quickly, like like a kid with his hand in the fucking cookie jar, shuts this arm wire closed, standing there with Zach, turns and looks at you, and these four suits of armor just walk back to corners of the room. Uh, uh perhaps we should, should knock now. before you enter. No, where is the fucking orb, you piece it's of shit? shit? It's in the hiding spot like we talked about. What, in the arm wire? It's not in the armoire. Oh, uh, it's not in the armoire that you just closed as we it's walked It's not in the, in the armoire. No, boss, it's true, we hit it, it's... It's safe. You do the... know that he just dominated you with that orb, correct? Yeah. <laughs> and you're not mad. Oh, I'm mad. But now's not the time. What? What? I don't what? want to break Garrett's house. Do you want us to take him outside for you? No. I think we should talk. All right. Well, let's talk before <sighs> we kill him then. Let's not Talking kill anyone. I cast oh, I'm not Blur again. Kill him, but I don't want him to forget the stupid thing he just did. Ever. Well, so let's hear his side before we start doing yeah. anything. Yeah, well, I'm going to his legs. Asheron, why did you control Zax if that's what you did? Well, I thought that me knowing where the orb was would come in handy. Uh, important piece of information where a magical artifact might lie that I need to protect it to protect Zax. Or that you're, you can you're come also back and that... take... Any time also, that you would like. Yeah. Asheron, you are aware that you were being dominated as well. And also, I wasn't in complete control myself. It's a little embarrassing to admit, but so it goes. Can I insight check him to make sure yeah. he's here right now? By all means. Same. That's at, a dis at disadvantage, yeah. That's a 14. <laughs> That's a 12. Whatever. <laughs> what? 
Um, he's not full of shit. He, he it, seems to be being honest. If I meant you harm and I had control of Zax, I would have done you harm. <laughs> when Six that's stuck up on me, I cast a defensive true. spell when I could have blasted him back as far as I wished. It isn't about you doing us harm. It's about you exerting your will over a friend. It's about my will being exerted by the orb. You do not realize, but this orb forced him to dominate him. You oh, no. now Bones knows what the hell's going on. Great. No, <laughs> Bones I, is right. When we were I, back in the, in the whatever. I, the, I get confused when two friends fight. This isn't what I'm used to. <clears throat> we were back in the, in the point was, the even dragon. under the orb's control, I cared for Zax's safety. I did what I wanted to. I hid the orb away. I feel like no harm's been done so far. So Maybe the orb, the orb's in the armoire. Walking in here, it's not in the armoire. I just told you that. Open the armoire. Uh, I don't want to open the armoire. It says Zax's armoire. <laughs> Zax, <laughs> Zax is the orb in the armoire. Not really. Can I inside check that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, if it's if it's not really in the armoire, is it? Is it at least in a place Fuck. that Asheron can't come back to get? Oh, it's safe. So he can't get it if he comes back here. I he don't can't. want to get it. I can't I... imagine. <sighs> Look, I come Asheron... from a place, a different place than you. There are more copper dragons in the world than just Zax. But yes, Zax but... having this orb means that this <clears throat> one is safe for now. You also said that your wills align with the orb, and it took you here. I that took me here. Yeah, the orb, that doesn't make oh, me I, happy. That I did. took you here. That's true. Zax took me here. The oh, orb... No, no, no. Do I know exactly... The, I know the orb's exact command, right? Yeah. <clears throat> My obligation to the orb stopped the dominating Zax. Everything else after that was me. I am so uncomfortable with this entire situation. I'm so uncomfortable leaving you alone with Zax from now on. That's Zax's decision. He's a big boy. I'm really worried about what happens when the druids show back up. <laughs> I don't trust the druids to have what, this mind project anyway. <laughs> All right, Zax, to put things out on the table, there is, well, there formerly was a conclave of druids that lived out mm -hmm. in some ruins out in the woods. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with Andolis. Basically, look at... He's an evil druid that basically came, killed off former druid brothers uh, who were meant to protect the orb at all costs. Um, ended up... Andolis gave it to the lizards to wreak havoc. We go and kill some lizards, steal the orb, bring it back, and... The druids wanted to take the orb away from here and back to their order, and we talked them out of it for now. They might come back to try and get it later. I don't think uh. that they want to harm you at all. They're just trying to protect the artifact that they were sworn to protect. But at the same time, it <clears throat> seems like you kind of have things covered. But I'm still uh, uncomfortable as fuck. I don't know. This whole I... situation. The fact of the matter is, is the druids are going to come back looking for the orb. The and I have a feeling they're not going to be nice about it either. <clears throat> the orb's someplace where... Shaking into birds <clears throat> and rats and shit. The orb's someplace where no one can get to it. You can There's no say reason that, druids but... should have power over Zax either. They had power over that orb long before, and I guarantee they knew what was going on more so in the region than than you might think. If that's the case and they wanted to take control of Zax, they could have done it at any time. They're, it's not like they're that far away from, from your, the town. Your home has a history of humans running around, dealing with powers they can't understand or control, wanting to gather it all for themselves. Do I look like a human to you? I'm not saying humans. I, I meant people. <laughs> Elves, humans, dwarves, all of you. You just said that the man was turned himself into a god, and now people worship him and go to war for him. Asheron, I'm glad that you're insulting the one race that was defending you here. 
enough, you two. We bicker over stuff that does not matter anymore. The orb, it is gone. We cannot obtain it anymore. All of this infighting will only lead to our demise. Can, I, can, I, at least ask, can I at least ask about the whole moving armor bit? Yes, I'm interested in that. <laughs> magic. Um, also. I mean, um, literally, magic. magic. <laughs> or magic. What magic? Oh. Magic, magic. What, Zax, what are you comfortable with Ashenon knowing where this is at? He can't get it. <laughs> well, that is... Uh, that's he opens the arm wire, and all you see is a <laughs> rather nice-looking uh, breastplate. Well, that's beautiful. He can't get it now. <laughs> he cannot get it. The other matter at hand, if we're done... If also, we're... I don't want it. <laughs> yes, he doesn't. <laughs> yeah, you can say that now. Fine. Bones, Two I think you're right. Oh, that. I want the orb. I'm gonna do stupid shit. Ugh. I think you're right in that we should stop fighting about this. We have... Brewer Hawthorne reached out to Ossium Hassan, and they are willing to send troops to help defend us from the Grayscales as long as we submit to their rule. I think you should know yeah. this, Axe, more than anyone else. I think you should know this, Asheron, too. Um, because more than anyone else, Zax Why would we need Ossium Hassan now, though? We have a dragon. I was going to say the same thing. Have, I feel like we're on the upper end of this fight. And they have Andolus. <clears throat> and what is Ossium Hassan going to do about him? If he chooses to come back and kill us, then we're all dead anyway. We don't know that. What Ossium what Hastam like I'm, nowadays? And if, what their rule technically means? Uh, Ossium Hastam is... Um, was largely, if not completely, almost untouched by the Cataclysm. And... Uh, is considered to be very powerful um, within their and, walls. And... Their uh, their patron deity is also Brewer Hawthorne's patron deity, correct? One of them, yes. Okay. So they have two patron deities. Uh, uh the the city mostly pays homage to Cogs, um, but there are. It is known that uh, worshippers of Rob Tug are pretty are pretty well accepted there too. <sighs> this is your home, Zax, and I think any decision made in that regard, I think you should be part of that. Especially when you've been the one defending us and not them. I can't tell these people what to do with their lives. If they want to stay, I'll help fight for it. If they want to find help from wherever, then I'll do what I can to help that too. But what if these people decide that they want to drive you out We don't know these individuals from Ossian Hastam, and... I, I don't know. What do you expect from me? He kind of looks angry and growls, like... They're looking for you to be a leader, Zax. <sighs> I'm only a century <sighs> from my hatching. And I am a lot less than that. I think all of us are. I'm, I'm almost there, but not quite. <clears throat> this is not a town of old creatures. No, but this is one of the rare spots that mm -hmm. has some semblance of, of goodness to it. Out of all the chaos that's going on outside of this little sphere of influence, and I'd like it to maintain that It was when nobody balance. knew about it. <sighs> I... I've only spent a day or two in Ossium Hastam in my passing through before I came to Elmshire to seek out the Copper Dragon. I don't think that submitting to their rule leaves us with an Elmshire. How, how long has Brewer Hawthorne been in town, and when did he send word to Ossium Hastam? Uh, Brewer, as long as I can remember. Yeah, Brewer's lived here. He's been here my whole life. He's about the but same age, maybe a little younger than me. Now. <clears throat> maybe a little older. He's about the same age, honestly. He's about a middle-aged man. So I gather that we do not want their aid. 
Well, I mean, it really depends on what Sarah and Lee wants to do. I, I, uh, it's not a decision to make. I don't know if it matters much more if they're aware. Is it now. not at least our decision to give voice to? I mean, we this isn't swamp and I, fetch the orb. This isn't the place to talk about it. We need to talk about it with the people of the town. This also isn't most of our town. Like Bones and Garrick have a little more skin in the game here, but I'm not from here. Olivier is not from here. I think I don't True. know where you're from, but I doubt it's here. It's not. You know, where are we supposed to go find somebody for you? Oh. <coughs> Lumlia? <laughs> Laminate? Lum Lum, I, I think you said. I, I I get the impression that, like, since word's been sent, I don't know. Does it really matter much? Like, can we tell them, hey, don't worry about it, and just not going to show? Because I feel like they're just going to show up anyway at this point. Well. That is a complication. We can obviously refuse their help, but <laughs> say they won't just send their own army. I don't think you get it. I think the bill's already been sent, boy. I'd suggest not calling me boy anymore, oh, but I agree. You're acting like a kid. Let's just walk back to the town. Hey, look at me. I'm licking my nose. Everyone, stop fighting. <laughs> <sighs> Seriously, lizard folk, when they fight, like, they actually fight, and then it's over with. This is really weird for Bones. Word talk. Word fighting is strange. <clears throat> Zax, perhaps I should stay, and we should talk. <sighs> I, I, all of you out. I need some time. Fair enough. Gotta Before finish. I go, I do want to try to heal that wound one time. Oh, of course. I just oh, tenderly as... touch him. <clears throat> as Wisdom he's doing roll. With as he's no doing disadvantage. That. Can I, I um... Right, he's that. doing the thing. Let him do the thing. Sure. <laughs> 17. Ooh. You reach out and touch him gently, and you feel Ulithar's power flow through you, and um, your hand almost trembles from the, the, the strength of it um, as it flows through your hands and into the dragon's wing, and you feel the, all the tiny fractures, and you imagine yourself like wrapping them up and smushing them back together gently with salve and saliva. Um, Watching and, Phil's face is the... And, <laughs> and you just kind of Three reach out your hand areas. and gently like kind of squeeze and all the bone forms back together um, with, a, a, with a little soft creak and sigh. And as the power through you, the eyeballs on your necklace pop. Yes! Um, as uh, a glow goes over Zach's wing, uh, and then it, he like almost reflexively shoots out, breaking the splint and the uh, bandages as he unfurls his wing and moves it. Praise Ulatha. It's better. Say it with me. Praise Ulatha. <laughs> it's better. Praise Ulatha, Bones. Um, oh, yeah, good and job, Bones. Bones, I thank you and, and your Ulatha. Um, and he just rushes out the door and takes flight. <laughs> Yes. Well, this is what we needed. Let the world see that he has arisen. He is risen indeed. Okay, <laughs> I guess. Well, we have our flying uh, death machine back up to full power. Let's get the fuck out of his house. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm in agreement. <clears throat> Does anybody else feel like we fucked up somehow? <laughs> um, Let's... No. I think the only rule. mistake so far was Brewer Hawthorne's. Anything that talks to us object-wise, we kill it. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you all now, in all honesty, I intend to seek out the other dragon orbs of different colors. Why am I not surprised by this <laughs> Why? at all? I don't know how much you know about the other dragons that inhabit Vestralon. 
But they are not like Zax. They are not kind. They are not good. That is why I am here. Well, many dragons aren't. There's a couple dragon flights that are. And it turns out that your people, boss, or at least the ones you know, have found a solution to that. And uh, so I seek that solution. I'm not going out today. I'm just giving you, in all honesty, since we might have a trust issue now. I, I would say we likely have a trust issue. And I feel like they don't harm Zax. I don't see why me seeking these would be in bad taste at all. Oh, no, because you couldn't handle the first one. Also, oh, if I, from oh if I dominate the other dragons, then we have no downside. You gotta stop with the you people thing. It's really insulting. <laughs> I, I don't think you understand. You're looking to collect all these orbs like there's some sort of like chain, and if it controls you, who who's to say that they're not gonna do something nefarious in the end of this? Not to mention, like... I can handle my own. My, my no, people, you can't. You my clearly couldn't. Protecting these orbs, but I had no idea that that was something they were charged with. I no, look, like, if we find a way to find out for where later, they are, we gotta figure out. I'm going out. That's figure all out I'm, I'm, I'm going know, back to town. Fuck you I guys. came here to try to fix this land, and dragons are mighty helpful in that. So you guys kind of do this whole little half bicker and argue thing all the way back to town. Um, I was actually going to camp outside Zax's tower, like not inside, like literally close the doors and sit outside. And God, I hope he back, eats you. But I hope he eats you. Uh, well, you can watch Zax flies around and goes and lands in town. Okay. Well, then I'll, I'll go back to town. That's fine. <laughs> No, by all means, camp out. <laughs> so you all, you all, I mean, I, I actually, you know what? No, I do. I do camp out. Okay. So he stays there while the rest of you go back b bitching about Asheron on your way back to town. <laughs> oh, my, my favorite game. <laughs> Bitch about Asheron. Um, and you come back there and everyone is excited that Zax is flying again. Um <clears throat> And also buzzing with the, 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 certainly is like looking at a flying Zax and a piece of paper in his hand and just looking like a man that he goes like, uh, what the hell? Neither of these options existed 24 hours ago. Yeah, uh, well, that's what happens when big damn heroes show up to town, I guess. <laughs> hey. Oh. Yeah, and what if they're from Ostium Hastum instead? And we'll oh. ask him politely to leave. And if they do not? <laughs> well, um, we'll, uh, I don't know. We'll figure that one out. Oh. This. Go ahead. So much news in one day. Um. So, Senate, what is, uh, What's your initial inkling with uh, news from Ostium Hastum? Honestly, I don't inherently like the idea, though, to be fair, once upon a time when they were on the same land, Elmshire was part of Ostium Hastum's land. Um, but they know we're here now, and they know that we are surviving and thriving, as he kind of like looks over at Brewer Hawthorne. Um, then shrugs for a moment. <clears throat> and the grayscales know we're here, and who knows what else. We've gotten by these past few decades on anonymity. That, that defense is lost to us. I don't inherently see what better choice. Sure, with your help and Zach's back, we could drive the grayscale's off, but then who will be next? Here's a point. This Ostium Hostum <clears throat> appears to be much like the grayscales in terms of power. Am I wrong to assume? They uh. would wipe <clears throat> the grayscales off the map if they 
so chose to send reinforcements. The way it sounds, Bones, is they can send something to deal with the grayscales and not lose any strength at home. But I... if that's the case, they may try to kill all the green scales too. Do they? It's kind of like, here, I'll, I'll explain it to you, Bones. It's like if Elmshire was a bird uh, and the grayscale were a cat. Ostium Hassam is like a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> then we must flee then, right? Mm, that's actually a really good question. Should we flee? To where? Down. The, the whole world out there. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't get smart to stay in one place for too long, let me tell you. <laughs> yes, but we were willing to fight the grayscales for this place. Are we willing yeah, it's to true. Flee? Are we willing to flee from Ossium Hassam? Well, it, you want to fight a dragon now? Well, we don't have to fight Ossium Hassam. It really depends on how the town wants to develop. Do they want to embrace? It's not. Yeah, also, I'll be honest. You have a voice in this bigger than I. I'm. I was just this here to is, pass this, Yeah, this isn't our town. This is for them to decide. Is, that, is anyone around here with uh, with um, Sarant Lee? Um, the whole town. Well? Like, remember, there's only like tw <clears throat> there's only like forty people in this town. Okay, I, mean, I just didn't know if they were all still working and stuff. Um, uh, they pretty much all stopped because Dragon and News and it's. Um, where's the barkeep at? He's right there. Father, <laughs> what does exactly mean to submit to the Osium Hassam? Um, oh, well, that I'm not 100% certain, but I would believe it would mean that uh, they would consider us part of their territory and probably station some form of guard or troop here, and we would pay some form of fealty and tithe, I assume. Hmm. And the green scales and Zax? He shrugs. I do not know. Um, he, sh you can read the letter the same as I have, and it says what it says. When did you send out the letter? A few days ago. <clears throat> Damn. Well, no. Wait. Seriously, how many days ago? Before, or after the incident. Right after the hurricane. It was one of the first things I did when I had the moment. Mm. I just gotta check that. I mean, yeah. you said a few days ago. It's only been Yeah, days. that, that was sketchy. <laughs> yeah. It's been like three days. It's been, what, four days now? Yeah, four days. <clears throat> wow, it feels a lot longer. Yeah, it feels like a week or two. Uh, mm -hmm. Wait, no, it's been longer because uh, the, the whole hurricane thing happened. And then I thought we spent like a couple days in town with just that helping out. The, Regardless, right. it's been it's been maybe a week. Like really, okay, it okay. Hasn't been that's all we needed to know. All right, we didn't want to be it's, a magic user or anything. We've we've been busy. We've yeah. been yeah. busy. Um, well, apparently so. I mean, he is a magic user. <laughs> we need to find out if. Asim has them is okay with the gray scales or the green scales um, and Zach's here. I'm sure they won't say no, but these it's correspondents the take time, and them moving their troops <clears throat> would also take time. If while I completely understand and agree with your thought, we don't have exactly a lot of time for correspondence. If they would hope to get people here in time to be of any use. <clears throat> I look towards the rest of the town, um, kind of stand by my kids as I wait for anyone else to kind of speak up. Um, Sarant, anyone? Does anyone I was about to say, what, about this? what do you people want? Again with you people. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, you honestly... people as in the general public of the community. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, Midge uh, kind of steps up from the crowd and goes, 
Honestly, we just want to be safe and be able to go about our lives. <clears throat> and everyone else kind of like nods and murmurs in agreement. Um. <clears throat> Though I cannot speak on behalf of the Hammer himself, <clears throat> it is one thing we value above all, and that is survival. If this bigger force wishes to take over this land, we cannot deal with the grayscales and Aussie Hama. I would be of, a, of like mind to form with them and cooperate. Garrick? It's up to everyone else. I, I have no dog in this fight. I, I just want to keep my kids What are you safe. talking about? You've got your kids away. <clears throat> I, have I, I, wanna, dog I want to keep them safe, but... I don't know how to do that at this moment. It appears that the majority just wants to protect what is precious, much like I do as well. And that way I will decide for us and we will accept this Ossium help if no one else will take lead. The hammer steps up. Oh, he's here. Nice. Oh, sweet. That works. <laughs> I do not want to speak for the hammer, who is yeah. standing right next to me. <laughs> Sitting there. Like... <laughs> I did not Bones, you speak well. <laughs> Thank God. But there might be another chance. We have Zax again. I would have him if he would, and if you would back me up. We go, and we take these other broken tribes, and we make them ours. Broken tribes? If you have killed Seshwin, or if he is dead or broken, then they will be squabbling for a leader. And if he managed to escape? Then we find him and kill him. Yeah. Nice. I'm actually okay with, with that idea. <clears throat> I look towards everyone else. I mean, it ultimately comes down to if... You could choose between your own independence and living your lives the way that you're currently living them at the cost of not having an overarching power standing here protecting you and figuring out how to protect yourselves. Would you rather do that or would you rather go an easier route and submit to an outside power to come in and protect you for you? Brewer Hawthorne and steps up. I mean, that would be great if the green scales who have proven to be good and loyal and protective, they controlled all of the other lizard folk, then obviously we would have not much to worry about. But Ossium Hassam can offer more than just that. There's trade. There can be more people coming through. We can have a dock of more significance. Um, we could aspire to be something more. Sarah and Lee is just kind of like almost holding his head and looking like, oh God. Um, you guys it have been the ones that us. have been seeing us through this. I greatly seek your counsel on this. Now, if you imagine, Will, in this moment, this is like one of those like blinking quest choice options. I was thinking options. about that as well. Yeah. Like, do you side with lizard men? 
Or do you do you Side go the lizard the man route? Or do you go? <laughs> I'm so upset that I'm not here now. <laughs> Why? That, I think that's been everyone's. Every time one of the players has had their character sit away, they have regretted it. Yup. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I made this choice, but like, man, I have so many things I want to say. I. I like the gray scales. I like the green scales idea. The, this I, choice will shape the future of Elmshire. And oh boy. Yeah. If I can contribute to the choice, I agree with that. Um, I see Ossium Hassam as like a horrible idea. You'd basically be doubling the population of the town with people that don't really work and then also sending off 10, 20 percent in taxes. Uh, I, I, I know I know we're talking about this out of character. That's yeah, fine. We can take, I, do I that. honestly don't mind taking a yeah. second to talk about it out of character. Okay, because like okay. I, I like I like the green skill all right. At least from where I'm standing as a character, it is more meaningful to me to to have these people like try and maintain like some awesomeness in their lives to their to their own like level of of control and not have some overarching group or whatever my only fear would be that the lizard folk have a lot of infighting and the green scales pit can be trusted now but what happens if they control all of the lizards and like somebody that isn't the hammer comes in and decides they want to take control and just eat everyone. Remember when LeShock yep. said that this was not going to be a morally gray campaign and some of these damn heroes? Okay. Uh, okay, so the, from what you're saying is, is from what I'm aware of on the on the, on the the uh, tribes is, if the Greens feel like as if the people of the town of Elshire aren't contributing anything to the tribe, they'll treat it as a rotten piece of flesh and discard it or consume it. Or they want to do it. So as so as long as Elmshire is productive, I don't see a reason why the Green Scale would do anything to yeah. harm as, a truce. As long as Elmshire doesn't just be lazy and do, does nothing, yeah. And now, having Zax is said, enough of a like. That's true too. We I keep forgetting about fucking Zax, the the I, giant copper dragon in the room. Yeah, yeah, there's no way the Green to, or the Green Scales are going to attack them. I. I wish I had some insight to like what exactly like Ossium Hassan would do in terms of like controlling this. I mean, area. it's fucking I like I I I I mean. Here's the other thing: they that's... do bring like more. They do bring help in terms of but rebuilding. This this is well, not and... uh, to say this is not a really a morally gray choice. Both it's of just these have their benefits. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, right. And it I mean, would, like, I, simply I, I... shape shape the way that Elmshire can future future yeah. will grow i, I, I would I, say I, olivier that uh I like in it like just your high intelligence right the same way i'm thinking of it is like economics right it, it's, it's basically to, it's basically but, go ahead. it's industrialization versus like moral purity well it's it's more it's i'm, I'm thinking it more as like in terms of Elmshire being independent of Ostium Hassan, because like everything that Hawthorne's saying could be done independently of Ostium Hassan. It's just going to take longer. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, and that and that, as that also the stuff is coming in. That assumes that Ostium Hassan has that goal in mind too, whereas Ostium Hassan could also right. just like sap Turn all the resources, and take right? All the land to do yeah. whatever they want with. <laughs> right. also, they're, so, they're... so here are your choices. Then I'm gonna kind of lay out. A few branching options so that we don't spend the entirety okay. of time right. in discussion. Okay? Right. Here is basically, as the conversation and the debate, all these out of character points just, uh, this is a debate that goes on all day and night amongst the people and everyone talking and, and the green scales and everything. And so you are we basically exhausted again find... from this conversation? <laughs> no, no. But it, it's, it's a civil debate. No one is angry okay. at each other. No one is like saying the other people are like horrible or wrong. This is nothing like our... That's because Asheron is up at the tower. Um, no. but, <laughs> but basically, here is what you're kind of looking like your options really are. If you want to side with Ossium Hassam, they'll need to send someone there. Like, of course. the choice I see there is A, you go with the green scale plan and try and track them down and forge oh, them. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. B, you just send 
you you go to Ossium Hastum as ambassadors, and you go there quickly. God, we know what being ambassadors is like, and it doesn't <laughs> play out right. Um, <laughs> right, or or um, and, and the last option you like it, and you negotiate what that would mean, or you allow. Yeah. Okay. Or you shore up the place and keep doing repairs and send someone like Brewer Hawthorne to go be that. Uh, uh, no. And no, the so... other option is that you also just leave the green scales and zacks up to it while, like, you can basically decide what you are going to actively be a part of, what you will trust allies or friends to do, and what you will actively be doing. So, so, where are you actively going, and what are you having your allies do? Uh, At this point, should we've all said a lot of stuff. Should we just all just put it to a vote, and we just... I, I want to make one argument that we do both. We help the green scales cre uh, create a larger tribe and submit to Ossium has them. Fuck Ossium has them. Let's go kill some gray scales. Yeah, fuck yeah let's Ossium. kill gray I'm on the fuck Ossium has them train. <laughs> I'm with that as well. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Wait, Sig wait. Sig Ossium Hastum. So Sig's okay. the only person from Ossium Hastum. Like Sig's not from Ossium Hastum. Or he just came, came from Ossium Hastum. All right. Well, you know more about Ossium Hastum than anyone here. Sig didn't come from Ossium Hastum. That's where he just came from. No, he found the Before. note telling him that that's where the bounty was. I don't think he was in Ossium Hastum. Was yeah, he? Sig is from the ruins of Victoria Point. He's even said so. He said it was really shitty there, with okay. a bunch of shitty people. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, 10 feet away. <laughs> you know, Asheron said that he passed through Ossium Hastum on his way there. Okay. Nobody here is from Ossium Hastum. Nobody, yeah. nobody wanted that sort of thing attached in their backstory. Okay, beautiful. If, if that's not an indication of <laughs> out of character, that's not an indication of where we should ally our allegiances. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't know much about this Tothio character, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 yeah! Okay, no, shit. Ba oh, bear in <laughs> mind, bear in mind that, that also, uh, perhaps that he had contacted through his order, also the church. Right. As in the no, church. Them, it's, they're going to send help, but we do have the church on our side in this, from the sounds of things. So, okay, so, um, everybody, uh, without hitting enter... I want you to type up yes, what your you. option is, and then when I tell you to, you will all hit enter at once. Hold on. Okay? Everyone let me know when you're done. Um, I am completely fine with us doing a little discussion on this. Um, and for any of the listeners, like this, it, it, uh, I feel like it adds a bit to the experience of feeling like this is what a tabletop session is like. Plus, you know, it's kind True. of... True. <clears throat> and... Everyone, let me know when you are done. And I'm. Ashron is ready. Olivia is ready. Yep. All right. Boss is ready. I'm good. Oh, Blackhawks. Oh, we'll we'll some... read all these for the podcast, right? <clears throat> oh, I will read them out loud. Myself. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Oh, perfect. All right. Everyone done? Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Everyone hit enter now. Okay. So, Balasar Bones says, fuck up the gray scales. Uh, Asheron says, green scales if I have to pick or even just defend it ourselves. Sig says, assimilate them motherfucking lizard folks. Tell Hastum nothing. Old yeah. Garrick says, says Hawthorne and certainly to negotiate Nostium Hastum and have the party unite the green scales. Olivier says, fuck Awesome. Oh, Hassam go kill grayscales. Sorry. There and you go. Boss says would rather hunt the grayscales. We'll side with Zach slash certain decision. Okay. This is a very much majority call of fuck, fuck up the greens of the grayscales. Fuck Ossium has them. Even um, half of Garrett's Garrick's decision was. <laughs> I mean, I'm wrong. okay with it. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, uh, that isn't. By I'm not any... against. It. I just don't want to burn a bridge. No, no, if you... Well, we can always That's revisit. not a... Yeah, that, no, no. Sending people to be, like, basically appointing someone almost like an ambassador to there 
Mm -hmm. That's a side option as well. But I need to know what your main course is because that's what I need to start plotting from I, here forward. I think our main course is definitely, I think, as we've all said, is the, the grayscales. Okay. Uh, for the side argument, I would say, I say tell Hostium nothing. Nothing. Yeah, same here. We can go negotiate later if we have to, but if we go now, we're negotiating from a position of we need them. We're going to go Whereas entrepreneur if, the shit. I would much rather this town be in a good position before we reach out to anyone, especially Ossium Hastum. Especially something as powerful as them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Last mm -hmm. thing we want is for them to be absorbed. Might as well have a thousand great grayscales on our side. Well, if uh, if if they all listen to us, if we decide we'll to to kill the grayscales, Zax, you want to go hunting? I've been waiting to fly for days. <laughs> I have but one question. All right. All right. Who wishes to fly with me? Oh! Shit! <laughs> 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 oh, There's a blue dragonborn back at your tower that would love to fly. <laughs> <laughs> he would turn you down so fucking fast. Who yeah. has the sharpest <laughs> eyes? Out. We're going to go uh, scouting. Uh, I, I raise my hand. I <laughs> Olivier. You want to do a contest? Perception check contest? Yes. I want this. I want all, all of right. this. Yes, let's do it. Yes! Oh, oh, natural 20. But... Wait, is this... We're at this... Oh, are, no, are we still a dog how, lo how long does that spell it's, last? It, it's, an hour, it's an hour long. Then it's to over. It, end, so it ended on the walk back from uh Okay, Zaxxas. roll, 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 Cargi. So we're doing this off disadvantage? Yes, we are. Yeah. All right. Get there. Oh, oh my God! God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you in podcast land, we had a nat 20 come out if it wasn't at disadvantage for Bones, uh, leaving him with a 15, and Olivier <laughs> rolled double 21s, uh, winning in this contest. So, okay, um, as we are <laughs> wrapping up this session here, um, basically what happens is uh, Olivier gets to mount up on the back of Zax, uh, and they're going to go fly and look for further signs now that they can do aerial reconnaissance. Um, and the rest of, while that's happening, we will discuss out of this. You can tell me what you are doing. Um, we're going to say that this is going to allow a lapse of about another week of okay. time. It's going to okay. go by. Um, and we'll discuss through in Slack and everything what preparations you're going to do in that week for prepping the city or yourselves while, and um, while also going scouting. Uh, Asheron, while you're waiting, camped out. Zach suddenly lands with Olivier on on his back and says Asheron we're going hunting and that uh, we're going hunting grayscales go help the others and then flies off <laughs> 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 I give him a thumbs up you can do this here and then you, you just stand up <laughs> thumbs up and a single tear roll down Asher. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, I start crying. Um, I, <laughs> I love proactive Zex. This is um, my new boyfriend. You no, see I, him? I, I, feel... <laughs> I actually oh, shoot a couple of fireballs. Alright, there's this the overly air. strong urge to like have a Zax Olivier uh, whole new world duet. Um, but <laughs> I, can, no, but can I make a request? I want Clip Dover. Say that again? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I just picture as they fly by, like... Oh, uh, Asheron is shooting bolts fire bolts into the air as they fly off as, like, <laughs> celebratory <laughs> fire blasts. Olivier, like, turns to him and just does the, like, the, uh, the magical girl, like, ding! <laughs> and they just fly past. Uh, oh, so, my yeah. God. Over this next week, we will t um, we can all discuss in the group chat individually uh, what the plans are, and we'll go over them. Uh, such as so this will be about a week of downtime, um, let's say before, mm -hmm. of scouting, um, finding the information, and prepping the attack. Um, uh, and you know, I'll even go ahead and say just because this will give you a better for for playing around. 
um, as we're ending up here. Olivia, you and Zax, while you're flying out, um, give me a perception roll um, without disadvantage at this time. Just a flat perception okay. roll. Oh, oh sorry. thank God. 24. Sorry. We dodged in that one. My heart. Just... My heart. Um, so as you guys go out uh, and scout, I, I, I... it's you see... Um, and, and flying about there and pass in the plane in the area near the swamp because uh, as you kind of get there the the swamp uh, oh boy how do I want to put this there's been a lot of smoke coming from it um, but you see g gathering in a large group um, starting to gather you see lizard folk um, coming from various different directions all coming to form up into one area and you see sitting in the on top of a hill John there on the back of uh, give me a nature roll oh no Ooh, come it's on baby <laughs> i was there. afraid of a grip okay. hey that ain't that's bad. 11. um oh, you know and it is it's large quadrupedal almost the size of zach's um scaly Thick, like shell plate on its back, uh, all scales, and a long tail ending in what looks almost like a club at the end. Um, it's an ankylosaurus. It's an ankylosaurus, yes. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, you see, standing on the back of it, shouting, and there, you see Seshwin, still alive, oh, gathering that forces. That son of a bitch. Um, was that vicious shot? So, <laughs> now we'll spend the next week prepping. As you know, they are gathering their for beginning to gather their forces, and you have a we'll say this next week of downtime of your own prep um, for the city and yourselves. And there is where we're going to end tonight's episode um, of ooh, episode four nights ooh, ooh. long story. And also, this is going to be a bit more because I have a special treat in store for all of you. For next week's episode no. 15. I, oh, you're going to hmm. miss next week, aren't you? Yeah, sadly I will. But I'm going to be watching it live when I get back in the hotel, so. Mm. Okay. Take, uh, um, Skype in. I mean, uh, so. So I can't oh, wait man. to see you guys. Yeah, it's it's going to be a surprise. Now, as much as I want to tell you beforehand, I'm not. Tell us. Um, tell us. Yeah, you got it um, right. Ice, Ice just guessed it, though, so she kind of nailed it in chat. Music, I guess musical it's... episode? Or right, doing fine, the musical fine, episode. Fine. You know what? I'll let there be a little bit of hype. Um, oh, right. oh, God. Episode, the special episode 50 is going to be a one-shot. A historical mm -hmm. one-shot of the taking of Tim's Hold by the resurrected TFAPs. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, we get to, do we get to play them? You get to yeah. play your undead evil selves taking Tim's hold. <laughs> and in the process, so you will be determining bits of what unseen things in the world have taken place, like who lived, died, how, and what. Guys, oh. we're not quite dead. Um, <laughs> I'm not dead yet! I'm not this dead. is a total so, surprise so, to yeah. everybody. Well, we're all in complete shock. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. I'm, I'm so, so fucking excited. So, um, what? if... if I'm I'm going to say this uh, because I'm I'm now really sad that Phil can't make it for that. Oh, <laughs> but but with, I will uh, and I was struggling with how to figure this out. But um I uh, and with your permission, I think that he has proven that he has what it takes. How do oh, you no. feel about Jo oh, no. playing Venris? You know what? I will accept this. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Why not? You've proven you know how what it takes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and cut the recording, guys. You have um, the necro qualities. Uh, uh, right here. I was about, about to say, even seven. If uh, even if that wasn't the case, like Phil's done such a good job programming Venris, I'm pretty sure that he can just fucking do shit on his own by now. Oh yeah, it's I... fucking crazy.
Yeah, I mean, I would know how to play him, but I was trying to figure out what, like, I was making an NPC for. I mean, we're taking Timsel. Yeah. This is pure destruction. I mean, so I don't think anybody would be against Venus's wishes other than out of just pure spite for Venus and life. Also, so, how amazing would it be to have a situation where Venus and Shira agree oh, yeah. I have on the all course the, of action? All, all the old characters are just right. archived. They're not deleted. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh, well, let's see here. So there's, and our... there's, uh, you'll see. I'm not going to tell you what their stats are. You will see. Oh, their whoa. updated undead uh, selves come. Uh, Jado, you have to week. tell me my stats. You have to. Oh, wait, are we still <laughs> the same classes and everything? I will let you know. You'll see. You will see the oh, undead is... versions of yourself. Once you get on, Phil, you can be the, the voice in the back us. of my head. All right. Uh, see uh, ourselves and know what we're going against. You're going to have seen yourselves 80 some years ago. Oh no! <laughs> so that uh, I would say, yeah, the little hype. That's what to expect out of next week's fiftieth ep uh, episode special. So, all right, I'm gonna kill the stream now. Um, everyone, we'll continue to talk. Uh, this will give us two weeks for discussing all of the things that you want to do and prep for Elmshire. Um, so, everyone, I'm gonna kill the stream now. Y'all have a good night. And see ya. We'll see you next week. Man, I get the.